What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, today we'll be checking out WWE Best Chair Shots Compilation Part 1. Uh, I know there's probably going to be some clips in here that, you know, I've seen in the past just watching videos on YouTube or just on the In The Clutch page with uh, me and Dub. I'm sure we've seen some of these chair shots, but, you know what I'm saying, and when it comes to chair shots in wwe and how they you know kind of switched it up from what they used to be when it was like unprotected chair shots to now they're they're mostly protected and they usually hit like their opponents on the back it's it's still it's still cringeworthy because i don't know if you guys know a lot of people try to throw around old oh, wrestling's fake and all this other stuff and yes the storylines and some of the moves they do on you know they're not real per se a lot of the storylines they use just for theatrics you know just to you know sell the match and some of the moves they do is more of like an illusion than actual you know like actually hurting someone but at the same time there are a lot of moves that are stiff and when it comes to objects especially chairs you can't fake that people try to throw that around you can't fake a chair it's a real chair that they were using to hit each other with a lot of times they would try to you know protect themselves with the hand before they got hit and a lot of times in the case of mick foley versus uh uh the rock i think it was a empty arena match that was a lot of unprotected chair shots that Mick, uh, Mick Foley was taking and just in his career he was taking a lot of unprotected chair shots to the dome you feel me so it's just one of those type of things where you know it's still it's still painful you feel me but we're about to check it out you know I appreciate all the love and support on the channel road to 20k on the way and let's do this thing man warning hitting a chair on someone's head is dangerous and may cause injury do not try this at home this is this is facts this is true just what I was talking about I don't know why it was in a whole nother language, but okay. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> This, this, I remember this moment right here. <laughs> he was taking unprotected, uh, unprotected chair shots as well. Benoit. American badass, dead man. Look at the chairs already dented up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the old SmackDown set with the the they had the little Tron on the side. You got the rampway, and they would come through the middle. I I missed the old SmackDown set. I'm not gonna lie to you, SmackDown for uh uh I want to say a decent few years, they were better than Raw in my personal opinion. Like the show itself was better. They had the better wrestling in my opinion. The storylines was intense. Smackdown was the show. Smackdown was the A show back in the day. No lie. Oh my God. <laughs> oh yeah, and they used to have the uh, the little Smackdown fist uh, above the the entrance way on the ramp. Good times, bro. Ooh. Oh, you know Brock is going to have some nasty, vicious chair shots. This is It's one of my favorite clips. The announcer. We got to go back. We got to go back. <laughs> 
<laughs> he got blasted. <laughs> Yo, look at this. <laughs> oh my god, yo. Oh my god, bro. Chair shots, bro. <laughs> it just makes me cringe now when it unprotected. It makes me cringe so much more. And of course, when I was a kid watching this, I was like, yo, this is insane. Like, I wasn't cringing. I was just like, you know, holy shit, this is insane. But now it just makes me cringe because of all the type of like side effects that come with just taking unprotected chair chair shot over and over and over. What do you do with that chair? Oh, what do you think he's gonna do with it? Oh, come on. No. Ooh. Oh, thud of that steel. <laughs> oh, this one. <laughs> I I want to say I'm not sure. I think this is the match where Eddie ended up getting busted open by JBL. Like, ridiculous amount of blood from a chair shot. I'm not sure if this is that match. It may be that match. I don't know if they're going to have it in this, uh, in this video. <laughs> Bro, I was just saying at the beginning of this video... Mick Foley was just notorious for taking chair shots unprotected with his hands tied behind his back or, you know, handcuffed. Like, that is just, dude is insane just for our entertainment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, come on. This is, this is almost like a setup. Oh. Bradshaw, this. Jim Christian, the steel chairs. Ooh. God damn. My God, what a spear, but look out. Look Here you go. Did you hear the smack? Oh my God! God, Jesus! Oh! Oh, this was the very first Inferno match. I remember that. I remember that very first Inferno match. I thought that was just insane. Just. Oh my God, yo! Like, what is what is going on? Like, these dudes is—they really turning it up. Is someone really about to get set on fire? Just imagine that as a kid, just watching that shit was so crazy. <laughs> Shout out to Shane for jumping into that. That was okay. That was nice. <laughs> Oh, that that was a nasty one too. Lita laid laid into that one, <clears throat> and then they hit her with a 3D. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my god. The steel chair is 
Oh, my God. Jeez. Oh, that. I remember watching that. He destroyed Kennedy. He destroyed him with that shot. It wrapped around his neck. Oh, my God, yo. I remember watching this. This is bringing back so many memories, bro. Oh my. Oh man. Woo. Something about that 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 still concerto, man. Mm. Brutal. Brutal. Bro, he put the mic down just to do that. He placed it night on the nicely on the mat. One nice stand. Ooh, that was a nice chair shot too. Oh my God damn. <laughs> oh man Jesus bro This is Crazy compilation man And this is just only part one It's crazy like Watching these you know when I was a kid Or you know when I was younger How I didn't really think too much About those chair shots I just thought they was cool visuals Like yo that's insane He got destroyed by that chair But I never really thought of the complications Until I got older And we started learning about a lot of wrestlers You know having concussions And what that could cause And what that can bring Just all those unprotected chair shots Over years and years That can bring some complications You know people start for you know losing memory and all different types of stuff so it's just this is one of those things they put themselves at risk just for our entertainment and you know i enjoy it bro uh, i'm glad they don't have the unprotected chair shot um uh, situation going on now I'm, I'm glad you have to protect yourself and they usually don't go for the head they usually hit like the spine now which i'm all for bro i'm all for like certain certain moves i'm not i'm not okay with certain wrestlers performing especially if it can mean like they end up potentially suffering in the long run i'm all about being entertained but at the same time i know these people these are people to have lives and families so it's all about the safety of the wrestlers that's what i'm all for but yeah man this was dope i'm looking forward to part two comment down below what was some of the vicious chair shots in this particular video i want to know which one y'all think was the most vicious for me it would have to be the undertaker destroying mr kennedy oh my the way it just wrapped it just fell like right around his neck that shit was intense but i appreciate all the love and support road to 20k and i appreciate y'all kicking with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace